What's going on to family? Welcome to the vlog. I have something kind of cool for you all today. I'm doing a standard video, but I'm doing it on an iPhone X. I just received mine yesterday and I'm currently using it to record and I'm gonna use it to record everything with this video. I bought the phone because I'm often in many situations where I wanna use something smaller, I wanna carry something smaller, I don't wanna carry around my big Canon 1DX with the mic and all this stuff. So that's the primary reason I got the phone, the image stabilization, the 4K capabilities, the new slow-mo capabilities they can do. So we're gonna put it to the test today. It's seven, my voice is still kind of gone, it's early. It's 7.55 in the morning. I just made it to my haircut here at House of Blades. I'm gonna get all these sides trimmed up. Let's go, start the vlog, play the intro. <laughs> Called? Low fade with a half, taper on the sides. Low fade with the half, taper on the sides. That's how it looks, pretty much. This is like bald, right, right here? Yeah. It's like a baby's butt right here. It's just real short, and it doesn't really touch the top, but exactly what he said, that's what I get if you guys are wondering. All right, no, have a good one, man. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning. All right, guys, just got out of the shower, and I'm having myself a protein shake. I figured I'd show you the two limited edition proteins dropping on Cyber Monday with Ghost. They have a snickerdoodle, and they have a white chocolate peppermint bark. Honestly, this snickerdoodle is now my official favorite protein. It's grown on me every single time I've had it. Uh, the white peppermint bark is really, really good as well, but it's much more like festive. It's, it's a lot sweeter in my opinion. So if you're like more of like a neutral protein, like a hint of sweet kind of guy, then I would say get this one. If you are like a sweet tooth person and kind of like crave like, if you like, like birthday cake and all that kind of stuff and sugar, then go with this one because this is super, super festive. Uh, macros, one and a half fat on both of them, three carb, 25 protein, so. Use mine. So, so Becca knows today I'm vlogging with the iPhone X to see if it's good as my big camera or if it's like even noticeable to YouTube viewers. How's your chicken artichoke? It's good. It's gross. What are you eating? Cheese Danish? Cheese Danish. And I got, <gasps> and I got a pre workout meal from Starbucks. Now, this isn't like the best macros, it's not high in protein or anything like that. So, it's not really like a, I wouldn't call it like a healthy or like fit kind of snack, but I like the. Tomato mozzarella panini from Starbucks. It tastes incredible. It is so good. Oh my God. Oh my God. Hello, Ava. How do you look on the iPhone X? Sit, sit. I think you look pretty good, huh? You look pretty good. Look, look at the iPhone. Wow, this is pretty freaking sharp, honestly. Now, how do you look? Come here. This is really good light right here. Sit. <coughs> good girl. Like, is it even noticeable for some other vlogs? It's horizontal, though. Yeah, it is, it is kind of weird vlogging it's like this. It's really strange. But uh, what was the fun fact you said? The said? Macro Barista. Instagram page. Is the best Instagram account you could ever follow. Low for calorie everything. For Starbucks. For and sure. tell them your secret. Tell them your secret about Starbucks. Oh, protein. Protein. Pro has protein. Did you know? Did, Did you, you know? know? Whey protein. Whey protein. Starbucks? Yeah, protein. They have they offer whey protein? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you can get a wow. protein, protein, protein frappuccino. What? With 26 grams of protein. Medium. What? Yeah. Life changing. Okay. These feel amazing. We're all in medium right now. These are amazing. About to record like a sizing look, look. video. Are they the same material? They're not, right? Yeah, they are. They are? On women's leggings. So, so, well, all right, guys, just recorded an athlete sizing video for the women's <laughs> leggings dropping this Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and we went over all the colors, all the sizing. So click the link in the bio to check it out. Cliff Notes. We can drop it low and you don't see anything. <laughs> Dro squat proof. Except for very, very slightly, the very light purple color and then the, the bright pink, very slightly sheer. We brought the waistband up so they're a little bit higher. And tapered it. They are also tighter. And on the back, oh, we can talk about the back on the other. The Instead of the print, in. we knitted all the logos in. Yeah, it looks good. So there's no chance of failure. Okay, so I'm here outside talking with a little bit of wind and the iPhone has really good slow motion capabilities, or at least I think so. So I'm gonna go and test them out right now. We have 1080, 120, and then 1080, 240. Essentially 120 is slow motion, 240 is like super slow motion. So I'm gonna get some shots here, uh, just of the dogs and out here and test it. Uh, I'm also gonna apply a little bit of color grading, like a LUT on here, uh, just because I wanna keep it even to my other camera uh, that I'd normally use. I always apply a little bit of color correction, so I'm gonna put a little bit of color on this as well, or on this whole video. So yeah, let me know guys, comment down below, help me out. Is this good enough to be my vlogging camera and maybe kind of keep my big camera for you know maybe edits or more fancy stuff? Please help me out. Comment. I think it's good. This, this looks good to me, man. As long as the audio is good, I don't know. iPhone X is killing it so far.
mid-workout right now, and I just wanted to say that in my last video, I opened it up with the rant, and that rant was kind of something at the gym that happened, sparked that rant, but I wasn't intending, I know it came off to a lot of people, I wasn't intending to target our employees or anything like that. Our employees have been doing an amazing job, and if anything, a problem at the gym, in the end, is a manager problem. In the end, whoever is the manager is my problem, and my issue that I should have been there to take care of. And I know I was very frustrated at the time when I did that rant, there was a few things going on, but no excuse for making it seem like a personal attack. And that's the thing, I was like, with my rants, sometimes I get carried away, man. Sometimes I'm fired up, sometimes I'm in the moment, I'm feeling passionate. And like I have these thoughts in my head and this concept in my head and I try to throw it at my camera and project it. And I just hope, like in hopes that it's gonna come together and like make sense and equal what is in my head. So I'm trying to like get what's in here to you guys. And sometimes it can be misconstrued along the way. So our staff's been killing it. This gym's doing better than it ever has. And just little things, man, that all of us should improve on. I need to improve on as a manager. Like one thing I need to work on is even though Alfleet Gym is the smallest revenue business it makes me the least amount of money honestly it requires so much attention and so in the past i feel like i've given my bigger businesses all the attention i kind of put the gym on the back burner a lot and i need to stop doing that i may, i need to treat everything equally to the best i can at least or just pick up slack so i'm still working on me man hopefully you know if you guys watch this video no one here is perfect man not me not any not anyone in this world so keep that in mind so take everything i say like a little bit a little bit of a little bit of grain, you know what I'm saying? So gonna continue this workout. Here we go. Quick update. We're currently at the airport, we're in the skyway, we're on a terminal B, so we forgot to place our laptop. But I'm not feeling too great right now. Uh, if you guys saw this morning, I was kinda like, hey, this is good for like shakiness. How's the shakiness on the iPhone? Super shaky. I'm not feeling too great, so I got a power aid to help settle myself. And uh going to Alaska for Thanksgiving. Hold on. The train is approaching Terminal B. How cold is it? I think it's like six degrees. It's six degrees Fahrenheit. This is the coldest weather I've ever been in my life. And it hurts. Okay, we're leaving. And this is warm, right? Look at you, you're yeah, like a little. It actually is. Wow. <laughs> Why? Well, let's have it. Are you cold? You all right? You're doing okay. I brought you like a bag of. <clears throat> oh, this is. Well, there's just a few what? special things in it. And a little chocolate. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. You got me eyelashes and a little eyeball. <laughs> yeah. Christian finds these. He's always like, on your <laughs> <laughs> well, it's actually like you're watching. I know you're watching me. Fresh out of the Butter makes oh everything my. better. I know it. Mm. Wow. So tasty. No I'm worries. The first roll of Thanksgiving. No, no, you have to have the first no one, one. You're the guest. Okay. No one's here yet. <laughs> I need to have a taste tester because, yeah, this tray is for. Sampling to make sure it's good. Sampling. <laughs> Sampling. We'll go with that. I'm okay with that. <laughs> we'll I'm okay with that. that. Quote to live by. Butter makes it better. <laughs> no, because it's the olive garden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to make a breadstick and we'll put like half a thing of butter on it. <laughs> Thank you so right. much for Summers. Okay. We'll see you in a little bit. I'll be baking these things. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm so happy right now. Please, please, please. Oh, yes. I need this. That was a good bite. Oh my god, so good, right? That, that was a good bite. It's the best we've ever had. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, YouTube. <laughs> this is Heidi's house. Where she grew up in. I'll show you, like, this is the kitchen. Right here. And. Oh, that's so good. 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 This doesn't even like fit all the family. It's nuts. And the couch. Christmas tree's already up. And now look at this view out here. Can you guys imagine living and walking outside and seeing this? Like, what? What? It's like the most beautiful 
thing I've ever seen in my life. Wow. Hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. I'm about to give you all my thoughts. I'm gonna edit this video and give you my thoughts on my phone. <laughs> Happy days. I wanna eat food. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, I hope my floor is raised for 26 people up there. <laughs> I think I got this one. I was like 16. Oh, I love it. So, the only jacket that I have, guys, Max Shooting bought this jacket uh, a few weeks ago. Now, <coughs> and I actually spotted him because he didn't have his card. So, I ended up buying the jacket for him. But I don't think he ended up, like, wanting to keep it. And I didn't have time, so I shouldn't think about going to return it. So it's a size medium and it's super tight on me, but it is really warm. So I just kind of decided to bring this. I saw the tags on it, but here's what's about to happen. I have never been outside in negative degrees. Like I've never been outdoors below zero. Mm -hmm. um, I have slippers on with no socks. I have a t-shirt and this jacket on. So I'm gonna just stand, it's negative 10 right now. I'm sorry, I think the challenge would be better if you weren't wearing your jacket. So was it wasn't wearing it, fine. You know what? Ooh. Screw your jacket, <laughs> Feel it. We're gonna make him do a minute outside with a no minute, jacket. A minute. A whole minute. And I'm super sick right now, so this is this Oh, is actually, we shouldn't do this. Go 30 Probably. seconds. 30 seconds? Friendy said the best thing to do when you have a cold is go outside and do something. Friendy was when it's cold for about a half hour. Really? Yeah. Does your friend never get sick? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the mountain man. Oh, Dan Hitchcock? Yeah. He's yeah. not a good one to read. <laughs> he's not the best. Okay. Crazy. Ready? Right, negative, negative 10. Go. Wow, look out here, Heidi. Oh my gosh. What? Where am I? All right. That's what happens if you put a Mexican in Alaska. <laughs> what? Mira! Mira! Mira, mijo! The snow! Look at those trees. Honestly, it doesn't feel... <laughs> it's just like, it's like... It's like, it you know, Las bad. Vegas is very dry heat this yeah. is dry cold i feel like if it was windy that'd be another story wow this is weird this is like a different i feel like i'm on a different <laughs> planet right now <coughs> i'm not I'm, I'm not okay and i'm wearing a jacket <laughs> but are you gonna do a full I, minute I, then i definitely want a, a picture right now yeah can we take a picture can you take one for me yeah but you have to do the whole minute no i'm good okay i can stay out here all day <laughs> okay I'm the man. okay all right, guys, to wrap up the video, I want to go and talk about the iPhone X and not so much compare it to my main camera, which is the Canon 1DX Mark II, but just sort of talk about it on its own. I really wanted this camera to be, or this phone to be like kind of all in one, my phone, my on-the-go camera, and I should have all my thoughts on it. So I'm gonna start with the positives. This thing is so easily accessible, right? You always have your phone on you. You're never gonna miss a moment. The battery life is great. It's awesome to know that you don't have to like go search for your camera. You don't have to plan to bring it because you always have your phone on you. That's positive number one, obviously. Number two, I was really excited for the 4K capability, the slow motion capability. 240 in slow-mo is just like crazy. I think not that many things actually offer that, especially Canon. Uh, I had to get a Canon 1DX, just like the top of the top, the top of the line Canon, uh, to even do slow motion in 1080. This says 240, which is double the slow motion. Sorry if that kind of uses a little bit. This is awesome slow mo. But the main reason I wanted the X versus the 7 Plus, which I already had, or like an 8 or 8 Plus, was because of the image stabilization. That was like the separating factor that, that was literally the deciding factor of me getting an X versus the 8 Plus. And to be honest, I didn't really notice too much of a difference on this footage uh, as far as like stable footage. Um, I'm sure if I were to compare, like, sorry, I'm kind of sick, guys. If I were to compare one-on-one, -on -one, like, with my old phone, I'm sure there would be a slight difference, but I don't think the difference is enough for me to go from, like, an 8 Plus, like I was going to get, to the X, which is, I think, like a four or $500 difference. Uh, I think the camera is very, very close in comparison, or I would assume so, and I really don't think it'd be worth it for this image stabilization that they kind of, that's like why I went with this one. The camera is really good in natural light. So if you have good lighting, like right now, if you were right now, or if I was outside with, you know, just natural sunlight, and it was, I was recording myself, it looks amazing, super sharp. In low light, this camera is really not that great, but I mean, it's, look at this camera versus you know, some of these crazy bigger cameras that are awesome in the light and have like night vision. I never uploaded this in 4K because it's the, the files are so big, but if you wanted to on the iPhone, you could because the files are not like crazy, crazy big. Um, and the audio sounds really good on this. It sounds consistent. I like it. I don't see really anything wrong with it. I'm gonna blow my nose real quick. One, real quick, one, one second. That's a good clip though. I need a really close, <coughs> close photo. <laughs> 
Sorry. It's all good. Okay. So the negatives about the iPhone X. Guys, for some reason, this video was, it took me so many hours to get this video, like just to get the footage onto Final Cut Pro. I used Final Cut to edit, and I don't know if like this is not compatible with the Final Cut yet or what, but I couldn't import the clips directly to Final Cut Pro, which caused me so much time. Um, I pretty much had to import them all into this Photos app down here. So I entered all, everything in the Photos app, which took forever, because all the clips just like, it, it took so long, uh, like hours. And then from that, I would have to drag the photo, like from the photo app onto the desktop which again, it took a really long time for some reason. Uh, and then I had to drag them into, in, into Final Cut individually. So I spent hours getting the footage imported. Um, I'm sure they're gonna fix that soon, but as of now, like it was a huge pain and I am not gonna record with this phone because of that, because I do not wanna deal with the, just any of that at all until they get that fixed. Um, and everything is like updated or there's all, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with that. I feel like if you launch a phone with all this video stuff, it should be obviously compatible with your editing program. You, and you shouldn't have to like, I don't know. It was very frustrating to be honest. That was the biggest like turn off for me. Other than that, man, I think that's really it. Um, I think at the end of the day, like iPhone footage still kind of looks like iPhone footage. You're lacking dynamic range, like with this Canon. I feel like with this Canon, you just feel like you're there more. You feel like the colors, and everything are just more vibrant and you feel that like the, the dynamic range, it's kind of really know what the definition of that is. But um, I think that for anyone wanting to get into YouTube, I think that an iPhone 8 or an 8 Plus would be an amazing, amazing start. The slow motion is, well, I think 8 Plus you have to get, but the slow motion is amazing. The vlogging is really, really good quality. I don't think you're gonna have anyone complain. Um, but for me personally, I, I do regret getting this iPhone X with the intentions of using it as a camera, because I definitely could have shot the 8 Plus, and I really don't think I would have noticed a difference as far as that. Um, of course, like the technology side of me wants like the newest, coolest thing, and so I don't regret this phone, but I do regret it if I were to buy it for the camera. Um, but for me, as a full-time YouTuber, I am going to continue using my primary camera at pretty much all times. I'd, I'd rather sacrifice like carrying it around and kind of dragging it around. Um, for the quality, I think the quality difference is worth it to me. I would not, make this my daily like vlogger. Um, I would say though, I think this camera is better than like the small Canon G7X, G7X Mark II. Uh, it has better capabilities and I would even say it's better than the Sony RX. And so that's the thing, this camera is great, great, great. I would say it's better than almost all vlog cameras except maybe the top few. And uh, yeah, so that's my opinion on the iPhone X. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below and we'll see you in the next video. Oh, I will use this to catch any moments if I don't have my camera though, for sure. Like, I don't think you guys cared that much, but yeah. I need to blow my nose again, so I'm kind of hiding my nose. <laughs> All right, bye guys. <laughs>